thank you very much. It's an honor to have the President with us. And he's been through a lot. He's been through uh, a tremendous amount, like probably nobody else, almost nobody else in history, if you really get right down to it. And we're going to have a discussion and see what we can come up with. But a uh, great honor to have you with thank us. You so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much for this meeting. Five, five years plus. Yeah. So we had, yes, uh, we had a meeting again here in New York in September. And now there are a lot of challenges, challenges in Ukraine and the United States. And of course, I want to, to discuss with you. Uh, I think where we are together, I think we have common view that the war in Ukraine has to be stopped and Putin can't win and Ukrainians have to prevail. And I want to discuss with you the details of our plan, plan of victory. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have a question for the President? What, why did you decide to meet? I think it's me yeah. or both to you. both of us. OK, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, it's very important to share to share all the plan, all our steps, how we can strengthen Ukraine. And of course, we have to decide it now. Because after November, we don't know who is. Only Americans decide who will be the president. But we understand that till November, we can't stop Putin. We have to do it. We will try on the battlefield with our heroic soldiers. But we understand that after November, we have to decide. And we hope that the strength of the United States will be very strong and we count on it. That's why I decided to meet with both candidates with all honor to them. Thank you. Mr. President. Yeah, Mr. President Trump. Uh, so what are your expectations about this meeting? So what I expect to hear from the President Zelensky, what are your expectations? Say it a little louder, please. What are your expectations from this meeting? What do you expect to hear from uh, Mr. Nothing. President? Uh, look, this is a meeting and we have a big race going on right now. I guess 37 days left, and we're leading in the polls, and so we'll see how it all works out. Hopefully, it'll work out. But if it does, we're going to work very much with both parties to try and get this settled and get it worked out. Uh, it has to end at some point. It has to end. He's gone through hell, and this country has gone through hell like few countries have ever, uh, like it's happened anywhere. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. It's a terrible situation. And I, I will say, I have had a great relationship. It was very honorable. I don't even know if you know this, but when they uh, did the impeachment hoax, it was a hoax, just a Democrat hoax, which we won. But one of the reasons we won it so easily is that when the president was asked, it was over a phone call with the president, and he said he could have grandstanded and played cute, but he didn't do that. He said, President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. He said it loud and clear, and the impeachment hoax died right there. He could have said, well, I, I don't know, and I don't know. And I, don't, I never even told you this, to be honest, but he was, he was uh, like a piece of steel. He said, President Trump did nothing wrong. We had a very nice call. He congratulated me on his victory. He just won. Uh, and uh, I remember that. I remember that he could have played cute and he didn't play cute and so I appreciated that so we have a very good relationship and I also have a very good relationship as you know with President Putin and I think uh, if we win I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly very well I really think we're going to get it I resolved. Hope we have more good relations we're going to have oh I see yeah, yeah. You but, you but you know it takes two to tango you know and we will uh, we're going to have a good meeting today and I think the fact that we're even together today is a very good sign. And hopefully, uh, we'll have a good victory, because uh, if the other side wins. I don't think you're going to have victories with anything, to be honest with you. So we're going to sit down and just discuss it. And uh, if we have a, w a win, I think long before, I, before January 20th, before I would take the presidency, it's January 20th. But long before that, I think that uh, we can work out something that's good for both sides. It's time. And, and by the way, the President knows that, too. He wants to get something done. He doesn't want to do this. And uh, so we look forward to having him. I mean, I look forward to being with him. But what I said is true. He was a, 
He was a piece of steel. He gave a very honest, straight answer, and that it, it really ended, essentially ended, the impeachment hoax. And uh, I appreciated that. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, everybody. Please escort Alex Ross. Thank you very much, everybody. 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 Press, thank you. Press, thank you very much. Thank you, Press. Thank you very much, Press. Please be moving. Thank you, Press. Sure. Thank you. Everybody keep moving. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Keep moving, guys. Thank you, Press. Here we go. Let's go. Hey, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Pulitzer Prize winner. Let's go. Keep it moving. He had a picture of the bullet. He's quick. He's fast as a bullet. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. We have a big team. Thank you guys, I need all the press to come with me. No, you guys need to go. Press, go. Oh, press. Let's keep moving.